Hi all. Welcome to my bench. After a great while, I did some upgrades and some rearrangements with my bench. Did some cleanup, as you can see, some new stuff on the bench. Quite happy how things are looking. So nice and clean, and everything is visible. I have some comments uh, to give on the forum. A recent diagram was given uh, by some anonymous Russian guy and um, it's a very large um, picture for that diagram and um, there were different things and it, there was also explanation on how the coils are, are made and the frequencies and, and where to look at and everything it's, it's so detailed and nicely given and with calculations uh, I was like so stunned so uh, I give a really big thanks and thumbs up for T1000 helping me out with the uh, translations and he also did put a bit of mind to it to see what's all up so um I'm giving it a shot. It is slightly of what Akula and Ruslan did, but it seems to be like the core of everything. It seems to resonate with what we're actually looking for. So on the diagram, there are uh, new windings, especially the grenade. This is a very different grenade compared to my old one. As you can see, this is a uh, this is the old blue one, the Ruslan uh, type of grenade, the counterclock and clockwise, and its methods and uh, the inductor by Feller, which is very interesting because uh, there were very old videos of mine which I did recordings of outside on a bench. I could have tapped like 1 kilowatt or 800 watts just from the bifiller because of the ordinary windings that it had but not precisely from the grenade the grenade acted like a capacitor instead of output but in a very strange way so the diagram was actually showing that the grenade is actually also wound as the inductor so as you can see in between the black tapes that's the inductor and this is the grenade it has many layers it has like let me see uh six layers and um and it's inductor yes um i did place the original antenna back which I was using but currently not using because I blew the transistor of the Tesucal so I won't be showing the Tesucal for now so I was replacing it with a uh, IR460 uh, I was recommended to use a MOSFET instead of transistor for some reasons um, this grenade for me looks more like a, a step up transformer instead of a uh, mass coupling as a, a mass for uh, one plate of a capacitor but this time it's more a step up with as if a capacitor so it produces more voltage which is nice and uh, and the uh, and the amps that should be coming along as well. I'll be showing in a bit. Um, that's the same toroid yoke. This is the tree turn section with the series resonance caps. Here we have push pull and a cooler catcher with the disconnected uh, MOSFET. <coughs> And the desk over the taps but of course when I'm done with the proper measurements and everything that will be conducted very soon uh, today or upcoming days as well 
need to wind or rewind uh, lengths to specific uh, frequencies when we get some response from the ground. Somehow in the diagram it shows that we need to get response from ground first. So that's a call as what many people see will have its antenna but many people think it's a special frequency of course it has to resonate but the real deal here is its ground line on the secondary line somehow in the diagram it's shown that this side has to be grounded and it's catcher and catchers um, at the base where it's connected on the secondary was never connected to ground but right now it's straight to ground even connected to the three turns area and the output but in a brief moment it should give a pulse so this is what we're aiming for right now like forget every other thing that Rusan told you guys you know uh, we need to focus on like sending a pulse to ground and get a response back and see what we can see with uh, some current transformers uh, T1000 also asked me if you could like uh, make some um, CTs current transformers so uh, I did some these are completely um, coreless uh, current transformers all varieties but I think I'll be using this one as how turrets are normally and they'll pass over the ground line as you can see this is a uh, example of my uh, ground wire and it passes over and then over the scope ground line will be connected on the secondary end line I am currently fixing uh, one of my dive bridges that exploded after doing um, massive uh, 160 volt DC to test a coil and try to rectify it. It did not well on a single plate. I think they have to be separate or the voltage was too high. And to tell you guys as well voltage does not have to be big I already saw that 24 volts is fed or 12 volts is 12, um, fed so um, that is something where Rusen just told us like the, the input voltage doesn't need to be great so if we get 1 kilovolt, 2 kilovolt is enough it's because not of high frequency oscillations on the antenna itself that's the other half of the, the that's the other half of the capacitor plate. It's the ground, how it's interconnected. Because the ground area, when it's connected on the the three turns area, that forms the other plate, and with the entire grenade. So there are three areas where ground will be connected very very earlier I did have those connections when ground is connected here to the grenade and somehow on the emitter side of the um, of the Tesla coil catcher and that did the results that you guys all saw good um, let's give it a, a roll oh by the way this is especially for Nick or for Alien Gray because you guys were talking about that time, right? So, that time, if this is my Akula catcher right here, that time is being placed right here. So, right here, let me focus a bit. That time is like this area of capacitor to ground. Uh, we have like uh, 2.2 nanofarads 
it comes here to a uh, 22 or a 20k uh, resistor variable as you can see here and then it will go through a uh, a resistor again a resistor of like 1k or something <coughs> And then to ground. Now, this ground is actually the negative terminal of um, of the board. So negative terminal of if of the entire system. Okay, so which are connected to the whole circuitry. So this is it. So. It's connected from 12, 9, and 11. 9, 11, 12. Connected. Go through a capacitor. 22K variable through 1K resistor. And then those two are going to the minus. That is my time control, which is right here. Um, what else can I show you guys? <sighs> so, we're gonna turn on the system. I already have it on the perfect resonance area. Turn it on. It's on. <laughs> the fan is on, but there's no Tesla coil. Well. <laughs> I have my leads here. We know we can't really measure the voltage, the AC voltage with a standard meter, but just putting it just to show what we'll, what we'll be seeing. But on the scope, we'll get the most results. So, as we can see, we have 132 volt AC output on our new grenade 56 2 layers 28 4 layers so here we have a incandescent 100 watts Oof. warmed displacement is getting like instantaneously it gets hot very fast here we have our 300 watts show you guys that it uh yes sorry about that got uh, some uh, people uh surprising me so i had to attend them um where were we Yes, I did show the voltage already, and um, here we have our 100 watt incandescent, no, halogen. So, best resonance, Ooh, I already feel the heat coming out of it, that's brilliant. So, you could say it steps down like 40 to 30 volts because of what has been generated, but uh, the maximum out was around like maybe 150, 140 something volts AC. So, uh, see to get it down there. Oh my god, it's so warm. Oof. Our 300 watt bulb. Let's try it out. Well, that is beautiful. Oh, it's getting warm already. We well, that's beautiful to start with. Hmm. Let's see if it will um, burn the filament of a 500 watt bulb. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, wait. Let me position this. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yep, there we go. It's hitting the filament of a 500 watt bulb. So, we do have our amps circulating through the system, which is good. Uh, the only thing missing is this and getting the voltage stepped up to where it should be. Well, see what we can do. Alright, guys. I'll hit you up, let me know, and um, take a good look at the from, I don't know, two pages back, what, 2000. Uh, did post about a section of that diagram and uh, you'll see what it's all about we have to focus on that pulse to the ground from the tasoka and the response we get back that is the current that will be needed to amplify what's happening in there with the voltage extra all right will continue and the very next video will be of measurements with our uh, CTs for the ground. There's